What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkfix.net and we are inside of Adobe InDesign. This is lesson number four of our series. And what we're going to do is that we're going to add some content, some external content into our document or pages. In other programs, you would choose to import the items. However, you don't import items inside of InDesign. What you do is that you place the items. What I mean by place, let's come up here to file, you come down to place or you can hit control D so whenever you uh, hit control D or place then you're given the option to select an external document to bring in or picture or whatever it is that you're wanting to uh, import or place inside of your document so what we're going to do is we're going to choose this uh, word document right here lesson number four once we get it you'll see that our cursor is now changed to this text cursor thing and what we do is that we come up here to the top. You can actually place it anywhere that you want, but we're gonna come right over here to the top and then we're just gonna click. Once we click, it loads our uh, our document with the content that uh, was placed on our cursor so that we can place it inside of a document. And so you can do the same thing. Uh, let's come over here. Uh, let's actually bring that up a little bit and we're going to go out and we're going to grab a hold of an image come over to pictures right here and let's grab a hold of this scenery right here now you can see the picture is now on our cursor so what we can do here we can either click and it will place it but as you can see it really blows it out of proportion so control or command Z to take that back but what we're going to do is that we're actually going to draw a frame onto our document so you left click you draw the frame and it will keep the dimensions of the image so that's about as far as we want to go there you let off from it and it places the image inside so you can grab a hold of it and you can move it around you can put it wherever it is that you need to put it at and so what we're going to do is we're going to try to line it right there in the center so that now we've got our our content up here let's just go ahead and bring that in like so grab a hold of it and move it over here let it catch the center and so now we've got our content up here and we've got our image here so but what if we've got content that is in multiple pages so let's come back over here control command d and then come back inside of our projects folder and we're going to grab a hold of the lesson number four long text now whenever we bring it open i'm just going to click right here we come over here to the left corner and then we click it loads our text however it there's more text there so what you can do is that if you know that you got multiple pages in the document that you're trying to place within your InDesign pages then you click on the shift and if you keep an eye on the cursor click on the shift and you get that little s down arrow thing so watch here and watch right over here because this is our page three so we're going to hold down shift come over here to the very corner and click and now it's going to load all of the content that is inside of the document that we just placed so once again you come right over here to the left you hold down the shift key and you can see the cursor change hold down the shift key and then click once you click it loads all the text into your document okay that's it for this lesson wayne barrow darkfix.net y'all have a rocking time now bye bye